Michelle Ishere, what's up? Back with another video. As you can see from the title, today we'll be talking about the best and worst of affordable drugstore sunscreens under $10, y'all. <laughs> it's been a long time. <laughs> I've been testing 10, 10 different drugstore sunscreen and it has been quite the task. This video has taken me a lot longer than I expected, but it's here. And I hope you're ready. Sis has been to hell and back trying to bring this video to you because some of these sunscreen sis had me on ashy, had me on flaky, had me on Casper. We gonna find out which ones did that and which ones gave me all the black girl radiance that I needed. But before we get into it, if you are new here and you've never seen my face, but you like my face and wanna keep seeing my face, definitely be sure to subscribe. And everybody watching this video, please give this video a thumbs up. It goes such a long way. Just put in that work. So there is a sunscreen that you wanna pick up Definitely click in the link in my description box. It goes such a long way to support my channel. It doesn't cost you an extra dime. But it keeps this channel going, keeps the sunscreen reviews coming, and I love you forever. When I first got into skincare a few months ago, I quickly learned that sunscreen could get a bit expensive. It could get up there, you know, a little pricey, a little spicy, a little $40 for a little baby tube. And we have learned that you actually have to apply a lot of sunscreen to get the coverage and the protection that we actually need anywhere from a quarter teaspoon to half a teaspoon per application and you're supposed to reapply every two hours yeah this amount about every two hours <laughs> that can add up that can get expensive and I know a lot of people will buy a more expensive sunscreen and say well little goes a long way a little is not supposed to go a long way with sunscreen you gotta put a lot of sunscreen on to get the full SPF that is marketed on the tube. I want to dispel the myth that people of color, black people in particular, do not need sunscreen. I thought this just a few months ago, but we need SPF just like anyone else. Even though our skin does have a level of protection, it's probably only up to a SPF 15, and that is not enough to protect against cancer. <laughs> it's not enough to protect against increased hyperpigmentation and dark spots that we that gets worse when we are exposed to the sun. We need our sunscreen. We need our sunscreen. Ew. There are two different types of sunscreen. Well, there's really three different types. There's chemical, there's physical or mineral, and then there are hybrid sunscreens. I'll be talking about all three today. I don't want to go into the science of everything because it would make this video way too long, but just know that mineral sunscreens can tend to make especially melanated people look very ashy because they are made up of white powder, zinc oxide, and titanium dioxide, white on black <laughs> makes gray. <laughs> so they can cause some issues. Chemical sunscreens tend to look better on our skin, but that doesn't mean that chemical sunscreens actually always look good on us and you will see some of that today. There's definitely a misconception that all chemical sunscreens can work for deeper, darker, richer skin, but that's not true. <laughs> I'm here to tell you that's not true. And then there are hybrid sunscreens. Hybrid sunscreens are basically ones that have chemical filters as well as physical filters. Let's start with this sunscreen. This is the very first one I used. This is the Aveeno Protect and Hydrate Sunscreen. It is broad spectrum with UVA and UV protection. It is an SPF 60. That is my preference. I prefer an SPF of 40 or higher even when I'm inside because I'm a bit bougie and I'm a bit extra so I like to have an SPF as high as possible. This retails for $10.99 for three ounces. I'm pretty sure when I bought it, it was $9.99. It does have a very mild cake scent. It honestly smells delicious. It's probably more oat, but there's something about it that's giving me cake and dessert. So it's nice and special. 
if you are not into fragrances or if fragrance sens sensitizes your skin, you may want to stay away from this. But even though I have pretty sensitive skin, I don't have itching, redness, or anything with this. I find the fragrance to actually be very mild. It is oxybenzone free. I prefer oxybenzone free sunscreens because oxybenzone has been shown to bleach and kill coral reefs. And as a Virgin Islander, as someone from the Virgin Islands, I just want to do the best I can to protect our environment. Allegedly, this is water and sweat proof, but as someone that is actually a sweater, anything that's on my face is going to drip, it's going to go into my eyes. So take that information with a grain of salt. This is technically a body sunscreen, but you can use body sunscreen on your face, and this does not feel heavy on my face at all. It actually feels very lightweight. So don't buy into the marketing that you need to get a face sunscreen for your face. That is definitely not necessary. It's just marketing trying to steal your coins, and we'll get into that a bit later. It says it goes on invisible, and I definitely agree. This goes on like there's nothing on my skin. It gives my skin a nice shot of radiance. If you are oily, it may give you some shintiness, some greasiness, more than, you know, a little razzle dazzle of radiance. If you are oily, I recommend just going in with this sunscreen and not going in with a moisturizer. For all of these sunscreens, I pretty much did the same routine. I started off with a moisturizer just to keep it nice and balanced and standard, but I do not need a moisturizer when I use this. I have pretty balanced skin. But if you're oily, I think this is a safe bet just to go in with this, and that's really for any skin type across the board. I've had no issues reapplying it throughout the day. I've actually used this several times. This is amazing sunscreen. It's a bomb sunscreen. The only con for me, and this is the con for all American chemical sunscreens, is that they irritate the hell out of my eyes. I have very sensitive eyes, and it don't take nothing for my eyes to water, to become wary, to, to burn a little bit, sting a little bit, you know. My eyes like to tussle, basically, and this does irritate my eyes, unfortunately, but all American sunscreens irritate my eyes. I love this sunscreen. I will definitely use it all up. And I'll definitely repurchase and just keep it away from around my eyes because that's a lot. That's a lot. Now let's talk about 100% physical or mineral sunscreen. So <laughs> all right let me pull up my notes because i used this sunscreen just one time because i couldn't do it sis this is the banana bow sensitive mineral faces it retails for 8.59 for three fluid ounces so a pretty good price like I said, it's 100% mineral sunscreen. It uses titanium dioxide and zinc oxide as the physical filters. It's all free. It's supposed to give you a lightweight feel. It says that it is lightweight, but it is pretty thick, y'all. It definitely feels like it coated on my face, and that is the con of many mineral sunscreen. It is also tacky on the skin and you can feel it sitting it definitely be resting on the face mm, this was a no y'all this was a no 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 it's actually matte on the skin but it is super 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 ashy <laughs> okay um i obviously would not reapply this during the day because if it's starting out on casper by the end of the day, it's going to be Casper and Friends. I mean, come on. So this is definitely a no for me. It does layer well under makeup, but I'm bummy 98% of the time. So I'm wearing makeup 2% of the time. Most days, I'm wearing a fresh face. So when am I going to wear this? When am I going to use this? I personally don't like having to cover up the ash of sunscreen. That is not my preference because I'm not wearing makeup every day, all day. It is, you know, affordable or whatever. But for me and my household, it's a now. Now let's move on to Neutrogena. This is the Neutrogena Sheer Zinc. 
another mineral sunscreen i was trying to get a good you know diverse mix for y'all this is spf 50 it retails for 10.99 for three fluid ounces so a bit over ten dollars but still in and, in and around the ten dollar range so not bad it only uses the physical filter zinc oxide at 21.6 percent i would say that this is horrible <laughs> it says sheer zinc sheer where where it <laughs> it was definitely thick hard to blend and you could definitely feel it on your face it was not elegant at all there's nothing that is a saving grace about this it smells like straight grease it smells like straight grease um it's definitely giving the girls radiance on the skin and it is ashy it is giving barney it doesn't burn my eyes mineral sunscreens tend to not burn my eyes because it doesn't contain those chemicals or any chemical sunscreens no no thank you no no thanks now let's move into the copper tone and glow sets. When I saw our copper tone glow, I was like, okay, girl, we're gonna get it. This just looks like black girl excellence. Like it's giving black girl excellence, radiance, 401k, it's giving BBLs in Dubai, all that. So I was like, okay, cool. This is the copper tone glow with shimmer SPF. 50 it is 7.99 for two ounces at walgreens huh definitely super thin it is easy to blend in you don't need to apply it in layers you can just slap it on and it blends in beautifully to the skin love the texture of this it does have shimmer which doesn't work well for everybody everybody don't want a shimmery glowy face i personally did not mind the shimmer but you know to each his own to each her own it does smell like straight up alcohol i wanted this to smell like nothing or to smell like sweet but it smelled like straight up isopropyl alcohol like 90 percent to remove lace wigs that was the scent it was giving i will say it is shiny but it's not oily if you have oily skin this probably will not work for you because it does give the girls some shine but if you are on the dry side i would say this would be a dry girl's dream because of the finish of this it definitely does have a slight great tinge on me like a small tinge but i prefer not to have that tinge i like my sunscreen to be unclockable and definitely clockable. I definitely see the grayness more on my neck that tends to be darker. I do see it around my face, but especially on my neck that is darker. So I don't know if this is going to work for every skin tone. Again, I use a lot of sunscreen, so this does pale on me. So, mm, not my favorite. I tend to not like sunscreen that I have to finesse. I don't like things flicking off on my skin. That's just not for me. I did wear this under makeup and it looked great under makeup. I felt like my skin looked nice and radiant, like I had a glow from within. But the pilling just wasn't cute. Be careful. Be careful with her. Let's go into the first of many Walgreens sunscreens. Walgreens sells many brand name sunscreens. Some of them are better than others, but what I like about them is that they cheap. <laughs> they about $2.99. This one is definitely one of the more expensive ones. This is $8.30. That's really random. Okay. For 3.4 fluid ounces. So under nine dollars for quite a bit of sunscreen but their sunscreen can get low like 2.99 two for five kind of situation you can also use your insurance and maybe save some coins if you know you're working for corporate you got a corporate job with good benefits definitely look into that for saving some coins so like i said this i don't know if i said it whatever this is the Walgreens 50 Claire Complexion, like the name suggests. It is a SPF 50. It is specifically for the face, but like I said, it don't matter. It's all the same. It is definitely not thick like other sunscreens, and it has a really 
really really elegant formula I do like the formula of this it does smell like peroxide though it's definitely giving me peroxide scent it is radiant but it's definitely not oily but if you are an oily person I don't think you need moisturizer and everybody else can play by ear this is another sunscreen that goes on completely clear it's unclockable looks great on every skin tone my only gripe with this is that it is not oxybenzone free I do wish I do wish that it was oxybenzone free because I don't really bang with oxybenzone but for the price for the amount of product you get is definitely one that I would recommend based on your ethics and your morals and where you live in the world some of us don't live near water so do that information as you will but I like the sunscreen it's a great sunscreen I would say this is definitely something worth picking up and like everything else I will link it and if you wanna you know join in on trying it out click in the link like I said, it does help the channel. Now for Walgreens Sensitive Skin. This is a two for five, two ninety nine type of sunscreen. Really affordable and you get three fluid ounces. You get pretty much a lot of sunscreen. It's supposed to be for sensitive skin. I didn't have any issues with it. I didn't have any issues with my skin with any of these sunscreens really. I didn't find myself getting any extra breakouts or anything like that. So all of these sunscreens, at least for my skin, um, kind of worked well. They didn't incite any acne, but I also don't have acne prone skin. So take that with a grain of salt. It is a hybrid sunscreen, meaning it uses chemical and physical filters. It uses octocrylene, which is a chemical filter, and zinc oxide. It is more like a medium consistency. I won't say it's lightweight. And it smells like nothing. It smells like air. So, you know, love that. If you do like fragrance in your sunscreens, this doesn't have fragrance, so you know, do with that information as you will. It does actually have a matte formula. This is the most matte sunscreen that I've used out of all of these, but it's ashy. <laughs> I've seen some people that are my complexion and it works for them, but it didn't really work for me. It was giving me ashy, it was giving me Tyrone Bigums. It no. I think this will work. If you maybe don't use as much sunscreen as me, but I be layering it on, I be packing it on, I'm trying to get rid of all these dark marks, so I be going OD with it, and no, no, no. And as you continue to layer it throughout the day, it just gets worse, bro. <laughs> like, it just gets worse throughout the day, so no, I... Let's talk about another Walgreens formula. This is their Clear Zinc, also SPF 50. It retails for $4.19 for four fluid ounces. So wow, that's a great price. You get a lot of sunscreen and it is so freaking affordable. This is also a hybrid sunscreen. It contains octocrylene as well as zinc oxide just like the sensitive skin one honestly for me they're pretty much the same kind of a matte finish but the ashiness i just couldn't see past it it says it goes on clear but hey that was not my experience no i don't think it goes on clear maybe if you are lighter than me but for someone that's my complexion and darker I would stay away from this, especially if you don't want to cover with, with makeup. You can cover almost any sunscreen with makeup, but everybody don't want to always do that. So this is unfortunately kind of a no. I will probably use it up, but I'm in no rush to use this. I don't really gravitate to it. I haven't used it since I used it for the video compared to some other sunscreens where I want to use them every day. So no 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 now the Walgreens 299 holla this is their hydrating formula SPF 50 bra spectrum all that it is like I said 299 for three fluid ounces so a super affordable sunscreen it's a hundred percent chemical and I really had high hopes for this it is definitely a light consistency um, doesn't feel super thick in the hands or even on the face it does have an herbal soap scent uh, and it's not fragrance free i don't know what fragrance they use on, in this but it's, de it's definitely giving me soapy bush so 
bear that in mind. It does leave an ever so slight tinge of gray at first and with reapplication that only gets worse like by the end of the day it's giving it's giving streaky flaky whiteness and that's when I learned that all chemical sunscreens do not go on clear it's not a good time just because it's a chemical sunscreen this is a hundred percent chemical sunscreen and it left me looking like Casper and friends. I don't have anything to really say about this besides that even though it starts off shiny Because it gets ashier and ashier throughout the day I do think that it tends to mattify to the point where you don't look shiny You just look ashy and I don't know what's worse Shininess or ashiness you choose so I would prefer to be shinier than ashier So this unfortunately is a no for me <sighs> for my complexion so you no know. let's talk about another Aveeno sunscreen this is the Aveeno protect and hydrate sunscreen for the face so it has the same things like the one for the body SPF 6, X, SPF 60 it is sweat and water resistant up to 80 minutes the only difference between this one and the one for the body is that the one for the body is 10.99 for three fluid ounces and this is 8.99 for two fluid ounces so way less product for around the same price so pretty much a scam and this one is also fragrance free for those of you who are sensitized by fragrance but I found the formulas to be almost identical that's the one for the face and that's the one for the body can you see the difference besides the color a little bit honestly besides the fragrance there is no different Almost all the ingredients are identical besides the fragrance and there's like one other ingredient that's different at the very end Which means it doesn't even matter almost because it's at the end So they are the same exact product like this product and this product is the same thing. It's just marketing I got the face one hoping that it would irritate me less around my eyes, but honestly the irritation is on par this is the same damn product. So I would recommend getting the body one instead of the face one because you get more products. But if you don't like fragrance in your skincare, then of course get the face one because it's fragrance free. What I want to say about the Aveeno sunscreens is that it doesn't get shinier through the day. The shine doesn't layer to a point that you're like an oil stick at the end of the day. What happens is that it actually kind of, I don't want to say it mattifies, but the shine kind of dies down. So when you get to the point of reapplication, you kind of wear your Face was at least for me but again I don't have oily skin I'm not sure how it works on oily skin but it doesn't get shinier throughout the day I didn't want to say that and lastly is Walgreens sport is their SPF 50 It's supposed to be a sport sunscreen but that's just marketing there's nothing spectacular about this that makes it any different it smells like straight sunscreen it definitely does have fragrance and it does have that that usual typical sunscreen scent um, it is a medium weight. It's not one of the more lighter weights like the Aveeno or the Clear Complexion, but it doesn't feel tacky or heavy on the skin, nothing like that. Um, it does have more of a radiant finish. It definitely has a tinge of ash from almost the very application, but definitely it gets worse throughout the day. It starts off like, mm, it's like, mm -hmm. then it's like, oh. And I tend to reapply anywhere from two to four times. That just depends on when I start to apply the sunscreen and how good I'm being that day. So by the third or fourth application, it's gonna give ash. So definitely not my favorite sunscreen, but it definitely is not one of the worst. So those are all the sunscreens I tested. I feel like this video was mad long, but it is a lot of sunscreens. And I wanted to cover as much information as possible. In terms of worst to best, I think y'all do have an idea of what they are. The first in the number 10th spot, no surprise, this is the Banana Bolt sunscreen. If I could return this, I would, but the return window don't close because I took forever to get this video out. So this is a no, mm -mm. never wearing that again. I have no idea what I'm going to do with it. For the same reasons in Neutrogena, this is going to be in the number 9th spot. For the very fact that it just doesn't match the marketing, it's supposed to give me sheer zincness. 
and it was giving me straight up zinc, straight up white powder. Definitely not understanding the assignment, so this is definitely one of the worst at the number ninth spot. In the number eight spot, we have something that I had higher expectations for, and outside of the price, it was just a real disappointment, the ashiness, the killing that was going on. So in the number eight spot, it is the Walgreens Hydrating. In the number seven spot, for the same reasons as the Walgreens Hydrating, is the Copper Tone Glow. The, the ashiness and the greenness, I can kind of get past because I do, I do kind of enjoy the finish, but the pilling is just a no. It's just very stressful. In the number six spot is the Walgreens Sensitive Skin. It wasn't one of the worst, but it wasn't the best, kind of in the middle. And honestly, these are pretty much tied. So I would say in the sixth and fifth spot are the, get in the screen girl, get in the screen, is the clear zinc. They're not as bad as the others, but they're not good. So in the fifth and sixth spot, we have these babies. In the number four spot, we have the Walgreens Sport. It's not giving what it's supposed to have gave, but it's not horrible, so mm, number four. And in the number three spot, we have the Walgreens Clear Complexion. Honestly, I actually love this sunscreen. I just hate that it has oxybenzone in it. If they were just reformulate it and take the oxybenzone out, I would be cool with it because this is actually a great sunscreen and one that I highly recommend. So number three right here. And in the number two spot, we have the Vino Face Sunscreen. Honestly, it's pretty tied with the first one, except you get way less product for the price. So y'all know I love this. I do, I do, I do, I do. So like I said, in the first place spot, number one is the Avino protect and hydrate and no one is talking about this I don't think there's many reviews on this people on YouTube tend to just talk about the same products so I'm glad I've been able to give y'all a new one to try out $10.99 at Target and definitely worth the price I definitely highly recommend both of them and yeah that is my review if you have any favorite sunscreens they don't have to be $10 but just let me know, what is your favorite sunscreen, especially for darker skin, because I'm darker skinned. So definitely let me know down below. If you don't use sunscreen, definitely let me know why. And let's figure out together how we can all get that glass skin and get our skin popping. If you have any questions about any of the sunscreens, I can try as best to help you down below. Definitely feel free to comment and I'll talk to y'all later. I hope this was helpful and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace. Bye y'all.